Disney is preparing the biggest expansion ever to all Disney Studios Park that opened in 2002 and was considered to be the worst Disney Park. This new expansion will include Frozen and maybe Star Wars. The new Frozen area will be located at the end of this massive man-made lagoon. The Kingdom of Arendelle will feature Scandinavian architecture and Elsa's Ice Castle as maybe the park's new icon. The main ride will be a bigger version of Frozen Ever After at Epcot. A similar land will be opening at Hong Kong Disneyland, so you can expect many things from that land to come to Disneyland Paris, except for the roller coaster. There's also going to be a restaurant there. While Disney hasn't released an opening date for this new land, some people say we can expect late 2024 to 2025 at best. But at D23, Disney Parks chairman Josh Damaro showcased the new plans for a pathway that will connect the old and the new. This will lead guests onto the new lake. This seems to be inspired by many European boulevards like Hussman. This main boulevard will allow connections to the existing land as well, like Toy Story. On this concept art, we can see this new Jesse statue here, that looks to be similar from the one from Disneyland, and a new Woody statue as well. On the other side is what has been described as an English garden, with a gazebo maybe similar to the old Disneyland one with a band underneath. There's also what seems to be a connection to Avengers Campus, the new land that opened as part of this massive expansion, this $2.5 billion expansion. And the park is also getting a new ride based on Tangled. This is a Tangled garden with a pond that is from the scene from I See the Light based on the movie. The ride will probably be similar to Mad Tea Party, but it still remains to be seen. As closer as we get to Lake, the more impressive things become, because there is a beautiful looking pavilion with Art Nouveau details. This will be a restaurant with great views of the lake. The architecture is a great mixture of existing buildings and the fantastical elements that Disney is known for. From this concept art we can see this building here that we don't know what it is yet and there is also going to be new restrooms. Now let's move on to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge that we don't know much about. It's a near certainty that Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is no longer part of the expansion plans. Disneyland Paris has not mentioned it for about 3 years at this point. Even if the concept art was a smaller version of the Galaxy's Edge found at Walt Disney World and Disneyland, it would have been very disappointing for guests to see a smaller version of this land, and instead would have been better to see other themes from the very big Star Wars universe. Many people speculate that there is going to be a new land similar to Pandora, the world of Avatar or Zootopia on that plot of land, but I don't advise you to depend on rumors because it only leads to disappointment. On Twitter there is this guy called Disneyland Paris Works, I recommend you check him out, but he is posting some really cool progress pictures of this expansion. You can see the lake taking shape here, and the bridge as well. Josh Demaro also announced a new show for Walt Disney Studios Park. The new show is called Pixar We Belong Together. It will combine spectacular stage technology with a large cast of characters from many Pixar films. Hopefully this show will be as good as all the other Disneyland Park shows. Walt Disney Studios Park has a bright future ahead, however the park still needs some work. The area over Tower of Terror and over Crush's Coaster still needs much work. So let's make a proposal for a few things this area needs to improve. First, we need to reimagine the Hollywood area. Walt Disney Studios Park originally had a theme of movies based on Disney and Europe as well. So I think it would be cool to bring that theme back. The main boulevard features many Art Nouveau motifs. Let's expand that. Let's make a main street that takes place in the time between the Fraise Lumière and Georges Méliès and when Walt Disney arrived in Europe. The areas near Cinemagique will also feature architecture from the 30s. Studio One can be rethemed as a train station from the times when Walt Disney visited Europe. The only problem I see is that Tower of Terror is themed to Hollywood, so we would have to rethink that, maybe make it something like the one found in Tokyo Disneyland. Next is the area near the Animations building. We can add an Art Deco building to fit in with the rest of the 
architecture. We need to rethink parts of this land to classic cartoons like Plane Crazy. The car's flat ride can be rethemed to Mickey's trailer and we can replace the Radiator Springs facade to scenes from Mickey's comic books and Disney Ducks like Scrooge's McDuck Money Bean. Lastly, we can rethemed Crusher's Coaster to Oswald Trolley Troubles. The only problem is that this painting here is actually massive and kind of ruins the scale, so we are going to have to make some very big mental gymnastics to change this on guest's appearance. Next up is World of Pixar. I think we can connect the boulevard to this area via an arcade, just like the one found at the Disneyland Park, and make it look like Emeryville. Now everything I said here about how I would like to see the future of this park, and I did these drawings, was just my ideas. It was not confirmed by Disney and it's not what they are going to do, it's just something I like to do. Now, if you want to see the best hotels at Disneyland Paris, click this video on the screen right now. Or if you want to see if Space Mountain de la Terra la Luna will return to Disneyland Paris, click this other video.